you have one table on the left in this example from a customer, then on the other hand, you also have another table from your database. Looking at both table closely, we can see that the contents of at least one column is the same for both. Now, you're being asked to get the data from one of the column in table two to each corresponding row in table one. Now the question is, how can we get the equivalent or corresponding data from one table to the other? If your answer to that question is a simple VLOOKUP, then I have a much better way to share and this video is for you. This tutorial is about how to get the equivalent or corresponding data from one table to the other using index match. From our example earlier, what we need is we need to extract the equivalent of each element from one column to the other. Right here, Table 2 denotes that you have everything from database unique ID, object name, and we want that to be translated and be available to each corresponding elements within Table 1. As I mentioned on the introduction, VLOOKUP can be used, but based on experience, it has a set of downside. Now, I'd like to introduce index match, which are both standard Excel functions and solves all those issues with VLOOKUP, as you can see from this comparison. All the limitations of VLOOKUP, like column restrictions, additional or removed columns, as well as searching for the entire array that drains your machine's resources, can be addressed by using index match. Now, here is our working formula. For those that are not familiar with Excel functions, I can translate them for you. Those texts that are written in red, which are index and match, are both standard Excel functions. So let's start off with the index. Index works like a map. See the answers that you're looking for. The first variable inside the index function, which is called an array, simply means the result you want to see, or the output or answer that you're looking for. This is the key item that you need to keep in mind. Which column has the result you want to see? Next, we will enter the match function. Then we will define our second variable, which is the lookup value. We can call this as the reference value that Excel will check and validate if a corresponding match. That's why we call it as reference. Third is your lookup array, simply the column in which those reference values can be found. On the last argument, which is the match type, in most cases, what we want is the exact match, that is zero, since we know that we have the same values for both of our two files. So here is what our ending formula would look like. If I'm going to read it aloud, I'd say, hey, Excel, look into this section and find the equivalent of this reference value that's listed within this column and I need 
the exact match. Some note of notable items though. For us to be successful in this exercise, we will need to make sure that the two files or tables would be working on meeting these requirements. The data or content on the source column on the first file has an exact match to that of the other or the second file, or else it will return a null value. In some cases, if your formula is not working, just copy and paste your data on a new workbook or a worksheet, as there may be some formatting issues on the current file that you're working on. Third, the array length where we used the index function should be the same with the array length of the match. And lastly, take note that match will not work if there's a mix of columns and rows because Excel will not know if it is supposed to look horizontal or vertical. It must be one way only. From our slides presentation, we have these two files, customer provided address, as well as the database download. So these are the two files that we would need for this exercise. And as you can see on the customer provided address, elements within column A looks to be the same of what we have on column B of our database download. Now, what we need is to have these database unique IDs be populated on the initial file. So let's just copy the header over and start working on our formula, which is index. And the result we want to see, and that is the contents of column A. So we're just gonna add that column. Going back to our formula, we're gonna do match. And we're gonna look for the reference value or the object that you need. For E2 right here, we want this site name, comma, then lookup array, which is on the other file that we want Excel to look up to, or the column where the reference value can be found. And that is column B, comma, and then we're gonna do zero as an exact match. And there you go. So this means that Area 01 Station 1 has a database unique ID, which is this one right here. And that came from the database download that we have. So if you wanna go through everything else, just double click it. So it's that easy. Again, focusing on index match, just do index, then the result you want to see, match that with your reference value or the object that you need. Look up array, which is the column where the reference value can be found and zero as the exact match. And there you go.